Okay, so this is the current state of the playroom. Stuff everywhere. These are the paint samples I have. Those are ruled out. I do not want those. It's between those four. And the rest of the walls are gonna be white. Still debating if we're gonna paint the baseboards the same color as the accent wall. I thought that would be kind of fun. And I don't know what the heck we're gonna do about that because there's no way I can reach any of that. <laughs> so it might just like stop right there, but that's okay. Front of the wall, closer. Mommy, can you help me? Mommy, the kiwi and the watermelon are both circles. We're gonna start with this wall and see what happens. Smallest wall. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Oh <laughs> my. This is stressing me out, painting with two kids. wall the big wall in the playroom is done but it about took me out oh my gosh it's a big wall <laughs> i haven't been filming any of this but i made it to this wall 
just have a little bit left and obviously the top there and the sides but i didn't feel like opening the other paint can so we are gonna finish that another day but other than that everything all the first coat is done it looks so good i don't know where i got that motivation from i'm like exhausted but i'm happy i'm really happy <laughs> that i did that so i'll keep you updated probably when it's all done okay it has been several several weeks since the last time i picked up the camera for this specific video i don't even remember the last time i was painting this wall i think it was well it was definitely before i was 22 weeks it might have been like 20 weeks pregnant and i'm now 28 weeks pregnant so it's been a little bit <laughs> regardless i'm gonna finish painting at least the white part of the playroom today like there's literally not that much left to do and for some reason i just have not been able to finish it so i'm gonna do that today i am gonna change my shirt though because i wasn't thinking about that when i put it on <laughs> so i have to change it to like my paint shirt but yes we're finishing that today and i do want to go to the paint store and pick up the accent color for the other wall and i'm kind of hoping i'm going to do that today too but that's still up in the air but i feel like i need to take advantage of this opportunity because i don't have my kids with me today and it's just a lot easier to get things done when they're not here <laughs> so let's see what i can get done today Cause baby love done and i am absolutely sweating but all the corners the little edge pieces that wall right there is done and i'm so happy i don't know if i'm gonna paint the baseboards today but i don't know if i told you what color we decided on but we're gonna do this one this light blue color so i think that'll look really pretty okay i have taped up the bottom of the walls not super confident <laughs> in the straightness of them i really hope it's it works out but i think i might try to paint the baseboards at least like the smaller ones i've seen top maybe i should take you up on that ride because i'm out of my mind and it's a little too late there's just enough time if we let it all out could i swallow my I was skeptical at first about painting the baseboards on the white walls the same color as what that wall is going to be. But honestly, I think it's going to look so pretty. It's kind of funky and different, but I think I'm going to like it. It was really tricky to get like the bottom. I have paint all over my hands, by the way. It was tricky to get the bottom of the baseboards. I kind of figured it out on some of the walls, so I just need to like position the towel like 
perfectly so that I don't get the carpet but can still get the bottom of the baseboard. But I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I touch that up. Yeah, we are coming along nicely. Okay, it's the next day. I just picked up the blue paint for that wall. Kind of nervous, but also very excited. Let's get to work. I should just walk home. But we're both scared of being alone. And that's how you throw it all away in a small town. Everybody's talking because they know now. Everybody's talking because they know now. And it's a slow burn, playing in your mind like a rerun. I've been trying to hide it, but I can't run from the way I feel when you're next to me. Quiet types said it's a bad time. I tried to call back, get your mom on the line. Is it just me? I hate how this feels to have to be fake But the fake feels so real Guess I should have known that You'd never call me back And that's how you throw it all away in a small town Everybody's talking cause they know blue wall is looking so good i haven't seen it since it fully dried i put the second coat on today obviously the trim still isn't done the rest of the wall is done and it looks gorgeous i'm finally gonna peel off tape on the baseboards and i'm kind of nervous that i didn't line it up correctly that's why i've been kind of putting it off but i'm gonna take it off now and i don't know hope for the best there we go beautiful Okay, so they're definitely not perfect, but they are honestly way better than I thought they were gonna be, and it doesn't even look bad enough to where I feel like I need to do anything to fix them. Actually really impressed with how they turned out. I do think the main wall is ready to put their handprints on it. I don't know if I told you my plan for this wall. If I haven't, they're gonna be putting their little white handprints all over this wall, and we're gonna save room for the baby as well, and I'm so excited. Ooh, don't, don't smear it, smear don't smear it. it. Perfect. Perfect. Right. I'm gonna help you. And you just up. stick it right on. Good job. Okay. She got the white top out. Wanna spend my night with you, babe. We got the sunset going down. I just want you now. Okay, so I didn't film any of this next bit that I'm about to show you. And it's also been quite a bit of time since I've last filmed for this video. I am currently 37, almost 38 weeks pregnant. And our focus has obviously shifted to baby boy's nursery. So we kind of just took a break from doing the playroom, even though there's like literally one thing left to do, which hopefully I'm gonna try to tackle today. But yeah, the thing I didn't film. So these are the shelving units that my husband and I put together. We've got this one on this side, which is mostly like Noelle stuff and Caleb's over there. This is not normally how this is going to look. <laughs> she just kind of like put a bunch of stuffies on there. Her room is kind of messy so a lot of the toys like the display toys that are going in this are in her room right now so i mean we'll fix that when we get there but right now i'm not gonna worry about it and i got those baskets thinking that they were going to fit in a cube storage shelf i didn't measure i just assumed cube storage baskets would go in a cube storage shelf but they don't fit unfortunately so they are up here currently and there's a band-aid in this doll's hair that is toddler life for you but yes you kind of get the idea of how that is and then we put the space velcro thing in the middle which fits perfectly they've got some fort stuff here 
and Caleb's is pretty much how it normally is except for that shelf right there with all the blocks but normally this is how his thing would be displayed those just go down there and he has a couple other things that would go there instead but yeah so the baskets are just going on top of the shelving units which are fine it's fine I love like just having that a little bit more organized than what it was. Obviously, we've got a bunch of big things that have to stay on the ground. And they did sleep in here last night, so they've got like their little bed set up here. But yeah, now this is the last thing on the list for the playroom, and then it'll be done is like the stuff that's gonna be hanging up on the walls. I got these frames, like these basic white frames. So these are the frames I've got. I really hope there's not like a big glare on it, but this is like, okay, it's all gonna be backwards, <laughs> probably. But we've got days of the week colors and then the ones that still have to go in the frames are these numbers months of the year shapes and the alphabet i really liked the colors in this i'm gonna put those in frames and then figure out where they're gonna go on the wall there's so much wall space i'm not really worried about that and then i also got this little it's not a tapestry right tapestry is like a big one i think it's like a pennant is that what you call it of the solar system Thought that was really cute so i'm not particularly good at hanging things like with nails so i might end up waiting until my husband gets home today he's currently at the gym he's off today so i'm kind of hoping that he will hang these for me today i can hang this one i think because i can just use like a thumbtack and just like put it on but the prints i'm gonna need a little bit more help with but i can put them in frame so i'm gonna do that first she got the white top down that's cute it's kind of small but it's cute with all the other prints i think it'll be fine okay here is a final look of the finished playroom the shelving over here and the baskets and they decided to move their bluey house over here which is totally fine and the other shelving that one's caleb's well, they've got the prints hung up and it's like a v shape towards the window so we've got that side and then we've got this side Love how those turned out. And then the wall. I cannot wait until baby Micah's handprints are on this wall too. It'll be so cute. In the future, I'm debating if I'm going to put like pictures of them on top or just paint their names on the wall. I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you guys think. And then the solar system pennant over here. And yeah, that's the finished playroom. Obviously, this took us a very long time to do. So if you're wanting to work on a project like this, don't stress about it. Just go at your own pace. And when it's done, you'll feel accomplished no matter what and I'm really happy with it and I'm glad that we got it done before the baby was born that was kind of like the goal here so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye and that's how you throw it on the way in a small town